<laughs> so as we can see, the yellow one at the from the first uh, guy is the emperor. See, so when the emperor of a country goes out, usually he has all kinds of servants, uh, beauties behind him coming up. And as we can see, uh, what, what, what is? Let's have a guess. What do this guy? Do? <laughs> He's a beauty? <laughs> <laughs> what about the other girls? Yeah, they are very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. <laughs> he is the chief servant of the emperor. So he follows the emperor wherever he goes. Uh, actually, I'll say like, these are the dragon features on the uh, emperor's suit. So it shows that uh, dragons are represented for the emperor. And when only uh, when the emperor is uh, in his uh, position, he can wear this color and this pattern. So he is the only one on earth who is capable of wearing this kind of clothes. So as a result, if you have any interest, since we are not living in Qing Dynasty or any kind, any kind of dynasty anymore, so if you want to try this emperor suit, you can have a try later. And this is the servant of the emperor. Uh, as I was talking to my partner over there, he told me that uh, if when you guys uh, in, in Netherlands, we do not have this kind of servant in Netherlands because you are in a humane country. <laughs> in the old days, when they have this kind of service, they were forced to give up some of rights, some of their rights when they entered the palace and that is the right to give birth to a kid. So he deserved the king and all the beauties behind. So it's a pity for this guy. <laughs> Oh, this is not the same. It is the cloud. So in Chinese, we have Xiang Yun. Xiang is the same thing as Zhang. Xiang means lucky. Lucky clouds are the patterns on this uh, dress from the Han Dynasty. Han Dynasty is, uh, is pretty far from what we have right now. It's like 500 years before now, so it's like very old. And uh, the dress is uh, in bright color, shows that this is the queen of the country, where we do not use the, uh, the queen because uh, the, the system in Netherlands and China are very different. He's the major wife of, of that king. If we are thinking like living in the Han Dynasty, okay? Okay. And this one, have a guess. Uh, what does this girl do? Do you think she's a servant or she's a, a princess or what kind of position do you think she should be in? A dancer? <laughs> no, she's not a dancer. <laughs> Actually, in China, we have one dynasty who um, promotes women's rights more than any other dynasties. Uh, ever. Why do we have this? Because one of the emperors at that time was a woman. So this is the dress for that time. This is from the Tang Dynasty. And at the time, since women in charge of the country, they do not consider a figure of a woman as that important. So 